Hello friends, today let's solve serialize and deserialize binary tree. Okay, actually this problem asks us to use a string to represent a binary tree. And then we convert that string to binary tree again. So that's the two functions. One, we call it serialized. Actually, it's convert tree node to string. Another function, the other function is called deserialize. We convert a string back to the tree node. So let's see. Oh, uh, well, as it is a binary tree problem, the simplest uh, solution is usually use that first search. And usually we will use some help functions because we need to return a string as a string is quite uh, complicated in Java. So usually we will use, um, we will simply use a string builder as a parameter. So we will use a help function, we call it build string. And uh, it has two parameters. One is the tree node, of course. Another is the string builder, we carry it. So as it is a dev first search problem uh, solution, we will have base case. The base case is if the root equal to noun, we append some character to indicate it is a noun. I use this sharp. You can use other uh, char character. Even six or seven works. So we append uh, the sharp. And we also append a comma, why? Because we use this comma as a separation character for the future use. So if it is not a uh, uh, noun, we will enter the recursive case. We append uh, this root value and we append this comma. And we do it uh, recursively. We build a string to the left node and to the right node. So it is actually a pre-order traversal, okay? So we finish the serialize function. Now let's go to the deserialize function. We pass a string, we call it a data. So as I mentioned before, the string is not quite easy in Java. So we can split this string by the separation character comma. So we can get a actually string array, but array is, uh, is fixed size, so we can convert it to list. Now we have a list of string. Why should we use a list of string? Because every time we just need to get it, uh, it it's the first character. Because we build it in a pre-order manner, so in this case we need to recover the tree. We just need uh, the first character. If it uh, equal to the sharp, we return now. Otherwise, we build a root node from that uh, integer. And we build, uh, we, we recursively build its left uh, node and the right node. In the end, we return node. So for this build tree help function, we only have one parameter, which we call it list, actually the string list. Okay, now let's write the code. So for uh, the serialized, we need a string builder. We just call it sb new string builder. And uh, we pass it to the build string, pass root and uh, sb, finally return sb to string. Okay, now let's write a private uh, uh, void build string. This is a tree node root. String builder, we call it sb. So the base case, if the root equal to now, what should we do? We should uh, sb append the sharp and uh, doc, uh, common, and we return. Otherwise, the SB will append the current root val, 
and the SB will append a common and we build a string root dot left SB and we build string root dot right SB okay we finish this part so for deserialized we use a linked list why because only linked list has the method of remove first so we call it a string list we call it linked list as we know the we split this data by the common we will have a array so we will convert it to a list so we use this method arrays as list that will be data split by the comma okay so now we will return build tree we pass the string list okay so private tree node build tree it is linked list string we call it a string list okay so we get the first string string list remove first we check whether it equal to the sharp if first equals to the sharp we return now otherwise it has an integer value we build the root new tree node we get an integer value of the first and then the root dot left equal to the build tree string uh yeah string list and the root dot right equal to build tree string list finally we just uh, return the root yeah same we finish it okay thank you for watching see you next time